This week marks the launch of the Holistic Climate Solutions Summit, which is a seven-day exploration of the existing solutions that are able to help solve the climate crisis. And we're bringing together over 30 partners together and 22 events to really strategize about how we create a better future together. Hi everyone, welcome to the Holistic Climate Solutions Summit. Today I'm here in Climate Week to talk about sustainable food systems and through a youth perspective. I am an environmental educator and also a content creator. It's important because it allows people, in this case from around the world, to get together and compare notes on what is important to address within climate change and food systems. Youth involvement looks a couple of different ways. The activism part portion is very important, right? But it's also supporting whether it's monetarily or it's volunteering or just getting involved with a lot of the work that youth on the front lines are already doing. The way we consume today is a continuation of colonialism. That's the way the food system is set up food system is built on uh, colonialism and you have the global north countries using low-income countries as the breadbasket of the world. There's an opportunity now for young farmers to get together with young investors, with young consumers and start doing things in a different way. Bringing actually the relationships between the farmers and consumers back together rather than a consolidated industrialized system. We'd love to hear some of the ways that you're engaging with youth in your work. Siji is very special. Our partnership network is very expansive and the more they partner and work together the faster we're going to be able to help those most at risk of being left behind. My work online is to create series of education that talks about environmentally related issues. When younger people are actually exposed and learning they're more likely to feel engaged and empowered. Anybody could speak further on the importance of unionizing. We'd love for you to share with our audience how um, your respective entities are championing your work people who will be able to help make the transition. Because there's a lot of change that needs to happen and needs to happen really quickly right now. We need to implement direct action. Unless we start tackling the overconsumption in the Global North, we'll never be able to have nutrition and food security in the Global South. We propose this beautiful alternative, which is in addition to this cycle of consumption that naturally needs to occur in order for us to live, but provides us no sense of meaning and fulfillment, we can actually have this additional cycle, which is the cycle of creation, right? And by creating, we form and foster community, which then in turn builds resilience, right? And faith-based organizations are the perfect model to showcase that sort of community building through a value-centered orientation.